Maryland's minimum wage just reached $15 an hour, but not all workers make that much. Wait staff at restaurants make the sub minimum wage $3 and 63 cents an hour. WMR2 News Jeff Morgan spoke with the leaders of the movement trying to get the minimum wage up. Have you all had a chance to look at our menus? Today, a group of lawmakers in support of one fair wage slapped on an apron and tried their hand at waiting tables, finding out the service industry isn't for everyone. And then the third one was the El Cubano, but he did not want any fries. Okay, did he want to switch it out for something else? <laughs> Senator Corey McRae is a co-sponsor of the bill to give servers $15 an hour instead of their current rate of 363. I grew up in Baltimore City. I can remember my mom working two or three jobs. One of them was that she was working at Pargo's. But the reality is, is that people shouldn't have to work two or three jobs just to be able to sustain. They should be able to do that with one job. And that's always been the mission, the assignment, and what we're looking forward to. Those in favor of the bill argue their pay is too low and inconsistent, relying solely on tips. We get paid from the guests. The restaurant really doesn't pay us. Every two weeks, we might get $60, $70 at max. Yes, tips should be extra. That should be on you to be able to make tips, but it should not have to be necessary to survive. There is opposition to the bill who say this could hurt the amount of money tipped employees make. Proponents of one fair wage say, well, they're only making $3.63. That's disingenuous and it's inaccurate. You know, employers, restaurateurs are required by law to make sure each and every one of their tipped employees meet the minimum applicable wage here in Maryland. And as of January 1st, that's $15 an hour. A similar bill was filed last year. It never made it out of committee in either chamber. In Annapolis, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.